make a point about the level of trust in marketing currently, Raja? Describe the sort of the current situation. The current situation, unfortunately, from a marketing perspective is not great. I would say that marketing is in some sort of a existential crisis. Many companies have done away with the roles of CMOs. And these are not some obscure industrial companies, but they are hardcore front-end consumer companies, right? You have got the likes of Coca-Cola, which has done away with the role of CMO for a couple of years before bringing them in. But you have got companies like j, &J Johnson & Johnson. You have got companies like Hershey's, Kraft. They have all done away with that role, which is very scary on the one hand. On the other hand, surveys that have been done by the likes of McKinsey's have shown that CEOs, a great percentage, more than 75% of CEOs say that they have no confidence in their marketing departments. They feel that their marketing departments do not have what it takes to drive the business forward. That is very scary. And the result is evident. If you look at classical marketing, we would say that marketing has four Ps, product, price, place, and promotion. Today, products, many companies, they are not managed by marketing. There is somebody called chief product officer or somebody else who manages products. Pricing is not done by marketing. Distribution or place or logistics is not done by marketing. All promotions are also not done by marketing. Part of the promotions are done by marketing. So if the four Ps of marketing, nearly three and a half Ps are not handled by marketing, you wonder why? And also you ask, then what exactly is marketing doing in these companies? So there is a crisis of confidence as far as marketing is concerned. And uh, that's very evident. And I keep speaking with my peers from across various companies. The budgets are getting substantially chopped year after year, particularly with the pandemic, it's even more pronounced. And the function is being fragmented and distributed to areas outside of marketing. Now, is that, is that a mistake? A is uh, I mean, because I, you know, we see new titles evolving, like chief experience officer and uh, titles like that. Uh, but uh, is it a mistake to let that fragmentation happen, Raja? I absolutely think it is. See, if you look at marketing, firstly, if you look at the classical definition, there is a reason why I would say Philip Kotler and so they have formulated an entire framework which gives a holistic approach to the consumer. And I think that's very important. Even today, even tomorrow, it's going to be critical. But the problem is when the third paradigm started with the data and technology, marketers could not keep pace with them. Many of the marketers have, have come from the qualitative side of the house. They didn't have too much of comfort around technology or around data. So therefore they sort of were caught a little bit like deer in headlights and then came a new breed of folks outside of marketing who are doing a lot of data analytics, data scientists, call it whatever, on the one hand, and then you got technology-led folks, and they literally took away the agenda and marketers were still catching up. And then comes mobile and then social media, a further revolution, and that's why marketers are really caught where they are, lagging substantially behind where the rest of the technology is. Like if you see, the bulk of the funding for data comes from marketers, but the data agenda is not driven by marketers. It's very fascinating, right? Bulk of the technology stuff that marketing is deploying is literally dictated or mandated or controlled by folks outside of marketing and marketers are more recipients of those technology solutions and they don't understand enough to be able to challenge or to assert themselves, et cetera. The whole idea is unless marketers learn and get comfortable, with the technology and data, they are going to be totally irrelevant. And that's a big worry that I have. Roger here. I hope you enjoyed this Brainfluence Brief. Please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to check my channel for full podcast videos and rogerdooley.com slash podcast for audio, formatted text, links, and other resources. Thanks for tuning in.